So I was browsing online and I stumbled upon this Michael Jackson face morph video which I thought was pretty cool. I played around with some of the built in effects in Final Cut Pro 10 just to see if I can imitate that same look. And guys, this is probably one of the easiest things you can do in Final Cut Pro 10. So this will honestly take you a couple minutes to shoot. I shot this entire thing with my Sony a6500 and a Sigma 16mm lens. You can pretty much use anything you want. You will need two similar clips to make this work. In the first clip I shot, I moved towards my subject right up close until I can only see their eyes and nose. In the second clip, I started off at about the same spot where I ended in the first clip, then moved back. When filming the two, make sure to frame the subject in the same spot in each clip just to ensure that the final product ends up looking good. If not, it'll look slightly off, but it should still work. I used grid lines on my camera to make sure that my subject was in the same spot. Most cameras and smartphones should have the option to turn on grid lines. Once you have all your clip shot, hop on the Final Cut Pro 10. Once you're in Final Cut, locate your first clip and drag it onto your timeline. Look for your second clip and drag that right beside it. Now adjust both clips until the subject in the very first one is about at the same spot as the second one. Increase the scale size a bit if you have to and move back and forth between the two clips until you get it very close or dead on. Now, under the effects tab, look for flow. Drag that in between your two clips. Adjust the length until you're happy with the outcome. So this would be good to use in your vlogs to transition out your subject from one location to another. The best part about it is it'll only take you two minutes to do it. If you guys end up using this in your projects, make sure to leave the links in the description down below or you can tag me on Instagram at Brian Primetime. And before you head out, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want me to make more of these type of videos.